The history we know is like a mosaic made up of countless fragments of the past. However, sometimes archaeologists come across findings that cast new light on what we considered established knowledge. Such discoveries often spark controversy, challenging long-accepted theories and provoking heated discussions in the scientific world. Some of these artifacts are so surprising that they seem almost impossible to explain in the context of current historical knowledge. Equally often, these inconvenient findings become the subject of debates and conflicts, both academic and social. In this overview, we will immerse ourselves in the fascinating world of the most uncomfortable and controversial archaeological discoveries that are changing our perception of history. Sangxingdu. This archaeological site was discovered in 1986 in China, in the town of Guanghan, where remnants of a lost civilization were found. About 3,000 years ago, during the Bronze Age, an advanced civilization existed in this region, which disappeared under mysterious circumstances. In 1929, in Sichuan province, a farmer unearthed jade and stone artifacts. Their significance was not understood until 1986, when more evidence of this extraordinary culture was discovered. Scientists believe that the artifacts were deliberately destroyed in Bayrad, possibly as a form of sacrifice. The civilization likely vanished from the earth due to a natural disaster, perhaps an earthquake. However, ufologists and independent scientists suggest that the Bronze Age artifacts are irrefutable evidence of extraterrestrial civilization interference. Among the artifacts found were statuettes resembling figures from beyond Earth, which only fuel speculation. It's fascinating how little we know about this mysterious civilization and how its discovery might impact our understanding of history. Saint Ching Du AI remains one of the most intriguing and mysterious sites in archaeology, and the discoveries made there continue to be the subject of intense research and scientific debate. Khat Shabib. This is the remnant of an ancient wall in the southern part of Jordan. This structure was likely built and used by semi-nomadic Bedouin tribes, although there is no direct evidence for this, leading to the belief that this theory might be incorrect. The wall, extending over 150 kilometers, is of interest to archaeologists worldwide. It is shrouded in mysteries, the most intriguing of which is the question of who the people were that created this architectural marvel. It is also unknown for what purpose it was built. Was it meant to serve as a defense, a territorial boundary, or did it have another unknown significance to us today? The object was discovered in 1948 by the British diplomat Sir Alec Kirkbride. Further research uncovered remnants of over 100 towers that might have been used for observation or were part of the wall's defensive system. What is additionally surprising is that the structure's function and origin remain completely unclear to this day. Khatshabib remains one of the most mysterious and unexplored ancient monuments in the Middle East, and its story is still waiting to be discovered and understood by modern archaeology. Many theories attempt to explain its origin and purpose, but so far, none have been confirmed, making it an object of fascination and ongoing research. The Mysterious Cave In the mountains of central Mexico, a cave was discovered providing evidence that humans occupied North America over 30,000 years ago. Scientists say that this is at least 50,000 years earlier than previously thought. This discovery includes hundreds of ancient stone tools, which have been subjected to detailed analyses. It is a very controversial finding that may change the course of history. After the discovery, scientists from around the world joined the discussion about this cave. 
There began speculations that both Americas were inhabited by Homo sapiens about 130,000 years ago. Despite the evidence, the aforementioned theory is still questioned. Tools from that period, referred to by skeptics as items created by natural geological processes, are part of the debate. It is said that apart from these tools, scientists found too little evidence to confirm human presence in those years. The Dropa Stones. These are a series of at least 700 round stone discs discovered in 1938 on the border of Tibet and China in the Bayan Karaula Mountains. These artifacts, dating from the Stone Age, have been estimated to be about 12,000 years old through radiocarbon dating. They owe their name to the Drapa tribes, who lived in the regions where they were found. Hieroglyphs of unknown meaning were inscribed on the disks, which remain a mystery to scientists and historians to this day. These extraordinary artifacts have sparked much controversy and speculation. Some researchers believe that the disks could be evidence of ancient contact with extraterrestrial civilizations. The series of disks is often considered an additional element in the puzzle connecting ancient civilizations with visitors from outer space. The discovery of the disks was a literal coincidence. In 1938, Chinese archaeologist Chi Pu Te led an expedition aimed at conducting routine research in the territory of the former Drapa tribe. The scientists managed to discover caves with mysterious graves in which they found skeletons about 125 centimeters in length. Scholars have not been able to match these remains to any known human race, further adding to the mystery of these artifacts. The drop stones have become the subject of many debates and discussions, both in the scientific community and among conspiracy theory enthusiasts. Their origin, purpose, and meaning remain unsolved, making them one of the most intriguing and mysterious archaeological finds. The Voynich Manuscript This is a parchment book bound in leather originally consisting of 136 double-sided vellum pages. At first, the artifact was considered a mere herbal book or medical textbook. However, after preliminary analysis, it was determined that the content of the book is not entirely clear. The manuscript was acquired by Michal Voynich, a Polish antiquarian, chemist, and pharmacist who in 1912 bought the manuscript from the Jesuits in Frascati. The book is written in the form of drawings, charts, and an unintelligible script. For over a hundred years, cryptologists from around the world have been trying to decipher its contents. In the near 50s, the manuscript was examined by a team of cryptologists from the National Security Agency, but they were unable to decrypt the content. However, they put forward an interesting thesis. The book was probably written in one of the European languages, but intentionally encrypted. This type of script is called a polyalphabetic cipher, which is very difficult to understand. In 2018, two scientists using modern technology claimed that the work was made in Mexico. They managed to identify 60 plants originating from that region. The Voynich Manuscript has been recognized as one of the most controversial books in human history. Conspiracy theorists believe that the book contains a recipe that was once used to treat people. The Piri Race Map this remarkable world map was created in 1513 by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis. His work, known for its detail and accuracy, surprised contemporaries and scientists of subsequent eras, especially due to the inclusion of extremely detailed geographical information that should not have been known at that time. The mysterious aspect of the Piri Reis map lies in its depiction of Antarctica, a continent that was officially discovered only in the 19th century. 
How a 16th century Corsair could have drawn the boundaries of a continent that was not yet known at the time remains a subject of debate and speculation. Some theorists suggest that the map could have been created based on even older sources, perhaps even from lost civilizations, which only adds to the mystery of this composition. The map was rediscovered on October 9, 1929, in Istanbul, Turkey. It consists of fragments drawn on a navigational system known as the Wind Rose, which differs from the contemporary cartographic grid. Scientists studying this map have noted its extraordinary precision, raising additional questions about the source and method of its creation. There is a theory that the map could have drawn resources from maps made by Christopher Columbus, but unfortunately, Columbus's map remains undiscovered to this day. The Piri Race map is considered one of the most fascinating works in the history of cartography and remains a subject of interest for both historians and enthusiasts of historical mysteries.